Hey, if you're looking for a super simple bookkeeping template, then you have come to the right place. I'm going to walk you through how to use the simple bookkeeping template uh, to keep track of your business finances. So uh, this is really going to be focused on uh, businesses that are, you know, very small that that may just have a handful of transactions every every month that, you know, you may not really need a full QuickBooks like bookkeeping software system. So these are probably, you know, small sole proprietor businesses, maybe consulting firms, or maybe you've got a YouTube channel and you have some income from that, or maybe you're a small realtor with a few real estate transactions. Maybe you're an Uber driver, right? You're getting the idea, like side hustle type businesses that that still need to keep track of their finances, uh, but don't need you know, all the bells and whistles of a QuickBooks. You just need to keep track of your, your transactions so that you have something to provide to your tax accountant at the end of the year. So that's the idea here with this bookkeeping template. I'm going to show you how it works here. I'm going to put a link in the description of the video below so you can download this. It is free to use. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you kind of a, a more complicated example here. I think most folks will probably have uh, less complicated uh, businesses than this, but let's say I have a coffee shop. Okay. I'm going to show you an example of how you could use this for even for a, a business like a coffee shop. And we say we're, we're doing our bookkeeping for 2024, starting in January. We have revenue categories, and we're just going to call it all of our revenue. We're just going to call sales. Now, you could break this down between, you know, coffee sales and, you know, food sales. You could, you could break that down. You could put additional categories here if you wanted. On the expense side, we have a handful of expenses here. And what we used here as a starting point was the typical expenses that are used on a business tax return. So we're kind of categorizing this in, in a way that's going to make it easy for the tax accountant. So your tax accountant might say, you know, you need to get your, your expenses organized for me so I can complete your taxes. This is probably going to be their dream, you know, that you use a template like this to, to organize it for them. So here's how this would work. So you come to this transactions tab and you're going to go to your bank statement. You probably go to your bank and you can probably export a your bank statement each month as a Excel file or a CSV. And then you're going to copy in the different columns from, from that CSV. So you want the date, the amount of the of the transaction and then you can also put in a description either you can write this description in or if the bank gives you a good description you could copy in the description from from the bank statement okay and then these items these two category and subcategory are going to be blank all right so you, this is what you're going to need to fill out so you're going to have the date the amount and maybe a description that you copy in from the bank statement and then you're going to need to go through and for each transaction say okay what was this 300 dollars? well it was a, it was an expense and it was uh, rent for our espresso machine that we pay and then this fifteen hundred dollar expense this was rent for the building and so we can we can give a little description there as well so let me just show you how this drop down works. So let's say this $300 was actually revenue instead and then we would we'd categorize it as revenue and we'd select sales. Or we can go back to expense. So if it's an expense, then all the subcategories are going to be here. These these subcategory options here are going to all show up when you select expense as the primary category. So again, we're going to we're going to pick that rent for the equipment. And that's really the, the entire process. So you're just gonna have to do that, you know, for each each transaction that comes through from your bank statement. And once you've done that, once you've got that categorized, then you can produce an income statement for the year. So this would give you your full year income statement. And then this tab actually breaks it down by month. So you'll get to see your sales and all of your expenses broken down by category for each month of the year. And, and it, it really makes the process uh, quite straightforward. So if you need any help figuring out how to fill this out or customize it for your unique situation, feel free to reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com. We'd be happy to help. And you can just also leave a comment in the, in the comment section of the video below if there's 
a specific type of template. If you want us to customize a template for your specific situation, let us know. We, we're, we're always looking for ideas of new templates to build. So we'd love to help. All right, thanks.